I was told something by my son, who's about 20 months old. Uh, he's often catching me by surprise. Uh, and this one did as well. It, was, it had been a rough day. I was pretty tired. And uh, we were eating dinner, and he would say, Daddy, yes, Daddy, yes, Daddy, yes. And he finally said, Daddy, awesome. My story is about my dad. I decided to send him a Veterans Day card this last year, which is shamefully something I have never done before. And um, the card was great, but I felt like I wanted to follow it up with a phone call. So I called him to tell him thank you for my freedom. And <laughs> my dad told me on the phone that um, he could count on one hand the amount of times that he had been thanked for his service in Vietnam. Personal. My wife and I will often tell our kids when they come home with stories from school that they should never let anyone tell them that what they think is not important. My friends always appreciate me because I'll always be the one to tell them when they have something stuck in their teeth. I actually have the little stuffed animal that I put toys in and then I have the little messages that I hang on her door and so that's just a reminder for her every day she comes home from school that she's loved, she's appreciated and I think about her throughout the day. And mom is a stay-at-home mom and has always put our needs first and our um, activities first, everything first, um, as most moms do. And it was after my baby shower and we were back in the baby's nursery putting away the layette and getting everything neat and tidy and she just turned and grabbed my shoulders and told me that she knew I was going to be a great mom. And coming from her, that was a the greatest gift that anybody could give me. The promise that we made to my mom was that all of us kids would take care of each other over time. Tom and I struck up a friendship early on in our Hallmark career and as we developed our friendship over the years he was such a gracious person but he definitely did not have a lot of friends. Probably about six or eight years before he uh, was ill, too ill, he came to me and said that you have been the absolute most best friend I have ever had in my life and it meant so much to me hearing that from him because he just didn't tell that to everyone. Every morning before my daughter leaves for school I'll take, tell her to be a leader. She's a leader. Uh, my story is about the strongest woman that I know, my mom. Uh, a year ago Actually, a year ago last week, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and I sent her a card the day that she found out, um, just telling her how strong of a woman she is and how influential she's been in my life. She's been the rock in my life for the past 26 years, and um, I just wanted to tell her that she could get through this and that she could do it. And in doing that, my sister and I sent her a card every day during her treatments, um, which is different sentiments and pieces of, of advice or quotes or jokes, just things to get her through her treatment every day. My dad always told us never take life for granted. 